Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I have a special video on how to use Handbrake and the best Handbrake settings to keep quality in 2020. Let's get it! So welcome back to the channel. I wanted to create this tutorial on Handbrake because back in October 24th of 2017, I created how to use handbrake, the best handbrake settings to keep quality. And this is like one of the top viewed videos on my channel. And I wanted to come back and make an updated version in 2020 so you guys can still use this magnificent tool. Those of you who don't know what handbrake is, it is pretty much an open source video transcoder that actually makes your video files a lot more smaller in size so it's more optimized and you can save time transferring files and it has been clutch in numerous situations for me and my clients as well and i want to show you guys the best ways to leverage this free open source video program so whether you're on a pc or mac i'm repping mac right now you are going to want to go to the handbrake website and that's a handbrake dot fr and this is the newest version they have right here um like i said i'm on a mac so i'm gonna go ahead and click it and it is gonna download once it is downloaded we'll go to the downloads and we double click it and let it verify and once it's there we double click it let it verify some more it's gonna ask this yes we do trust it and boom live in effect i'm gonna go ahead and Double, I'm going to click this and I'm going to keep it in a doc because I use this program so much. Once we have Handbrake up and running, we can choose a video. Now, the video I'm going to be using right now is this wedding brand story video business card that I have. And as you can see, it is in 4K, 3840 by 2160. We're going to use this 4K video. It's logging in at about 850 megabytes. Let's see how low we can get it with the settings I give you to preserve the quality. We're going to open the source. Let's choose that video right here and let it load. I, I know that guy. Once we do that, it's going to log in and it's already going to put it at fast 1080p 30. We can keep that for the time being. It doesn't matter. What we're going to want to do under format, we're going to keep it MP4. Right now is a .mov file. And we're going to want to check the web optimize. This helps because, like the title says, it optimizes it best for online use. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, websites, you name it. So we're going to optimize it. Everything else looks fine. We're going to go to the next screen. Next are the dimensions. Now automatically it's going to convert it to 1920 by 1080. However, this is a 4K file. So in order to preserve the 4K in this instance, I'm going to change it to 340 by 2160 for 4K. And then hit tab. And then as you, as you can see, it changed it on these parts as well. Everything else looks good here. Let's keep it moving to the next section. Filters. We're not going to touch anything on these filters. We're going to keep it all the same. So nothing to do here. Let's keep it moving. All right. So once we move over to this video tab, this is where the fun starts. We're going to come over here to video encoder. We're going to keep it what it has up top. For frame rate, it's going to put 30, but we want to keep it the same as the source. This video is 24 frames, so it will stay in 24 frames and we're going to keep the variable frame rate selected over here to the quality now the average bit rate this is what comes standard is 6000 has a two pass encoding which is checked we're going to keep that and you can see what that's all about here and a turbo first pass we're going to keep that checked as well i'm not going to mess with any of this stuff up top constant quality this is where you can dictate the quality and the file size so the lower the higher you go Let's say you want it to go all the way up to 49. Yes, your file size will be super, super tiny. And I've had a client who needed a super small file size to embed in their email. And we did it. Um, did the quality look that good? No, it looked a little janky and it looked sketch. 
So be prepared with that if you go super, super high. However, if you go super, super low, yes, you're gonna get the most clear and best quality per se, but the file size is still gonna remain big. So the sweet spot I've noticed is between 18 to 21, 22. That's pretty much the sweet spot between these. Me personally, I like to stay at 18, 18.5 on a good day. In this case, I'm gonna keep it 18. Feel free to try different ones to find your sweet spot. Now, I would strongly recommend saving this preset, which I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna name it Ignite 2020, main preset. And this will only make it easier for you down the road so you don't have to remember all this stuff. Custom dimensions. I film most of my stuff in 4K, so yes, I am gonna keep it that way. And now I have the custom, my presets, Ignite 2020. Once we have that, we can go over to audio. I'm gonna keep everything the same. It has a bit rate of 160, which is fine with me. The codec I'm gonna use is AAC. Subtitles, don't have to worry about that. Chapters, we don't have to worry about any of that. Once we have that, we can add it to the queue. Once it's in queue, we hit start and the process starts to happen. Once that is complete, you should hear a chime. This took about roughly two minutes. It depends how long the file size is. Mine was about two minutes. I also want to tell you guys, you know, usually I save everything to my desktop. This did not pop up on my desktop and I was wondering where it was at. Well, I should mention that in the very beginning, it's going to ask you below where you want to save as to. Right now, it has it going to my movies folder. And if it does for you as well, I'm going to show you how to do that. So on a Mac, I just usually click the trash button and I hold shift command H and that brings up all these locations, movies, and voila, it is right here. Now you can change the place where you want to save in the future, which I would strongly recommend. I'm going to change your minds to the desktop, but here it is if you can't find it right now. And if we look at it, we got that bad boy cut down more than half to 321 megabytes, which is phenomenal. And when you play it back, Hi, my name is Jamie Garza, and I'm the owner of the It looks crispy clean. I use this program to send files to my editor, especially if it's a long interview files. I will convert it to a handbrake version, and it makes for a more efficient process when editing without losing quality. I also want to mention this. Now, that's pretty tremendous that we cut it near half with using the settings we did, but I'm gonna take it a next step further and show you guys how to really ignite the settings so you can still preserve the quality. Now, right here, we're at 321 megabytes. What if I say we could get it to at least 50 megabytes and we're gonna adjust one simple thing, okay? So, right here, under the video profile, we have an average bit rate of 6,000, it comes like this. However, let's knock it down to 2,500. This is a standard that I use for all 4K videos and when I'm doing what I do. So we're gonna add this to the queue and then we're gonna hit start. Not only will it be less time, it should be around a minute 30, but wait till you see how low we can get it. Once it's saved, I'm here, check this out. Wow, 45.8 megabytes. This is the cheat code. This is what you want activated in 2020. And as you can see- Hi, my name is Jamie Garza and I'm the owner of Ignite Cinemas. Compared to this, 321 megabytes. Hi, my name is Jamie Garza and I'm the owner of Ignite Cinemas. You know, it's funny that using the power of video and it- Pick your poison, y'all. Hi, my name is Jamie Garza, and I'm the owner of Ignite Cinemas. You know, it's funny that I actually got into wedding video production by accident. Hi, my name is Jamie Garza, and I'm the owner of Ignite Cinemas. You know, it's funny that I actually got into wedding video production by accident. Hi, my name is Jamie Garza, and I'm the owner of Ignite Cinemas. You know, it's funny that I actually got into wedding video production by accident. And what do you know, she booked me for like three weddings that year. And 
I fell in love with the whole process. I fell in love with igniting that love story, documenting that true love, and being a part of that really special moment. From there, I've been able to add an extra branch to my company, Ignite Cinemas. We capture love stories that last forever and ever. You know, video is really a truly amazing and remarkable thing. Being able to have the power to not only freeze time so you can rewind it over and over again, but being able to document the essence of what goes into your big day. I hope you guys enjoyed this updated video on Handbrake and the best settings in 2020. If you did, please slap that like button for me right now. And if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, as well as Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials and filmmaking tips and tricks, please subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.